Well, hello everyone. This is um, Jeffrey Baker, <coughs> also known as Arbok Lover sixteen eighteen on YouTube. I am sitting here in front of my Hoover Commercial dual purpose vacuum. I know it looks like an Elite, but it's one of our newer models. And since when does anything not look like something that's been around in the past? I would like an Elite though, and I mean the soft cover. I like the balloon style bags, but hey, we can't always get what we want. But anyway, I'm going to be changing the bag in this. It's not full yet, but it smells, so I don't want to use this anymore since it smells. <clears throat> but. I'm going to also show y'all how to change the bag without anything coming out. A lot of y'all have, there have been some of y'all that complain about dry vacuums, and hey, I can't blame you. They ain't always the best in the world. Oops. Well, so much for showing without stuff coming out. But, anyway, what I do is, when it's in front of the thing like that I take it off a little bit and put my hand in front of it like this it's unfortunate that I can't show you right away but um, what I do in that case is I bring it to the dumpster like this or also roll it up I'll pause the camera and show it to you there like this. This is the position I put it in um, when I get it out of the vacuum. But I take this to the dumpster and I lightly toss it in there. I just ease it down in there and after I get it in there and dropped in, I rinse any dust that could have got on my hands off and as we can see nothing got on my hands but now that's an odor eliminating bag I like to use them on carpets that are said to be smelling and really bad stinking so that they don't make my vacuum smell but <laughs> I've been using this on the back porch that's what I usually use it for so, and I always pick up peanuts from these parrots. But anyway, I'm going to go let it blow anything out that has escaped from the bag into the yard. And I will be back with that. Alright, well I get the case blown out and ready to go. As we can see, it's not perfect, but at least it won't blow any of that out when the bag inflates. And just as a quick side note, I went and got the pack. I went and got the allergen filtration bag pack. This is what this is. Um, and just in case you don't believe me, this is what the bag looks like out of the pack and this is the bag that's still in the pack the same thing just as a little note to make sure y'all believe me I ain't saying y'all won't but I'm gonna insert this bag take a fresh bag and um, open it up a little bit just so you don't tear it by accident um, I need to pop that open and I'll be back alright there's what the inside of the bag looks like and this is a thick bag too I like I like that that tells me it's not gonna that tells me it's definitely not gonna let any crap escape and I need two hands to insert it so, I'll be back again. Alright, well, we got our new bag in there. It's a 
it's in there nice and, uh, nice and, uh, it's on there good on the mount. And that's another thing, if you don't have, have it on that little mount real good, stuff can escape. I will say that. I, I ain't gonna hide anything just to get people to look for a vacuum. Which is what I never do, because that ain't right. But there's our um, allergen filtration bag in the Hoover Commercial Dual Purpose Vacuum. Now, something I have noticed, um, they say a lot of y'all on Vacuum Collectors Club have said that these vacuums are actually elites. They are. They are elite clones, as I call them. They are also sanitaire clones. People people take their names or different companies take their names and they and they place it on a vacuum that ain't really considered theirs like the Eurekas they made there's a lot of old Eurekas and sanitaires and nowadays TTI has owned a lot of that and other brands just take and put their name on it and call it theirs. Like Reliavax, the Bank Heavy Duty, um, even the Bissell Big Green. Um, I think it's the BG-17 that looks like a sanitaire. Because it actually is a sanitaire. Um, can't think of anything else that has been cloned. I know that this is a clone of a Elite and I also think that the Hoover Legacy was a Elite clone. I don't know, depends on which came first. I am going to go with Elite coming first because I think that was actually the first of the front bagged Hoovers. But there we have it, changing the bag in the Hoover commercial dual purpose. Um, this is a method I came up with. You take your bag off your thing gently and when you get it off there enough, you put your hand in front of that little cardboard flap there to avoid any dust spewing out back into your air. Um, and you roll the f roll it down and open your dumpster and lightly ease it in there and just let it drop <clears throat> and you'll be good to go also when you get done <clears throat> go to your water hose and rinse off any dust that could have spewed out onto your hand it's not really hard it's not a hard process to go through um, I will note, I am next looking for a Rainbow SE for the really dusty jobs. Because I have cleaned homes that are, like, infested with dust. Like, they never vacuum. They never, they never got out a vacuum and vacuum their carpets. And you can imagine living in that. I would say, if you want to live with shit in your carpet, go for it. You're just gonna, when you finally want it cleaned by someone, you're gonna have to pay a big bill. So, tell me how you like the video, and I will see y'all in another post. Oh, and just a side note, the pitch changes when you get a bag full enough, and listen. You can tell there's a lot more airflow going through that. Of course, there is a lot of airflow going through with this bag, since there's a it's a direct air vacuum. So now, I'll I'll keep you posted. Bye.